Wow, you're still watching ways. Quite a very interesting conversation. We're still discussing anxiety, fear, and anger during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, ask Akshay. Um, Jane is the director of Art of Living Nigeria, an entrepreneur, a life um, uh, coach. He has facilitated many social impact projects ranging from stress relief workshops for prisoners in Ikoya and Kirikiri prison to leadership training workshops for over 1,000 youth in Delta State. Now, he is the current MD of Sumeru Nigeria Limited, an IT leading company. Now, remember, you can join the conversation, tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Way Show Africa One with the hashtag Ways. Thank you so much for joining us, Akshay. Thank you, Uwa. <laughs> nice to be here with you. This <laughs> namaste, right? Namaste. <laughs> thank you so much. I mean, you. I think this you is the trend now in COVID. Yeah. Times. So, thank you so much. I mean, you heard the conversation from the founder of. Um, at, I mean, it was quite insightful. I wrote so many things down. And truly, truly, I think if I could go by the um, Shaka Shaka's question that she asked, a lot of us are now embracing our humanity and is bringing the human side of all of us. People are now reaching out more, helping other people. And so we know that there's a lot of stress that is coming at this time. You know, so maybe we should just start with how do we deal now in practicality? You know, because he said so much and yeah. we really cannot do the practicals. You know, he's far away in India. So what is the practicality? How do we manage stress? And um, what are the causes of stress? So I think first let us know what is stress. Mm. So stress happens when, when the mind goes into the future or the past. You see, when you're in the future, you're anxious. Oh, what will happen to me in the, in the coming future? Or something happened wrong last day or any time. So we, we think something went wrong and we are angry about it. So anger about the past and anxiety about the future, these are some emotions, negative emotions, which cause stress. If you're right here in this moment, you can only be happy, right? Wow. So the cause of, when we understand the cause of stress, then we are able to deal with it. And you know, the, the, all of us know the side effects of stress. It causes a lot of physical ailments, mental ailments. So how do we deal with it? As Gurudev was talking, meditation is one tool. And then you'll say, how do we do that? I was going to ask that, how, what, is what is a meditation? So let's say, uh, in a very simple word, yeah. meditation is the art of doing nothing. Are you hmm. kidding? I mean, that also is a difficult task. You know, uh, you sit with the eyes closed and do nothing. People, all of us, they, we are used to so much things to do every day. And then we say, how can I sit and do nothing? You know, it's so difficult to put a brake on a car which is running 100 kilometers an hour. So meditation in a normal way is just deconcentration. People think, oh, meditation means should I focus on something or concentrate? Yeah, I thought that was it. Yeah, but I would say uh, concentration or focus is the result of meditation. And the act of meditation itself is just being in a relaxed state of mind. Hmm. Wow, that's why you all smiles. I think you meditated before coming here. <laughs> <laughs> so you how know, do you maintain that level of concentration, a certain level? How do you get there during meditation? Because so we're distracted. In, yeah, especially see, no, in Lagos. Yeah, no, I, mean, I can I mean, barely no, Lagos is on another level. It's a human mind. It's, hmm. it's a worldwide phenomenon. Sitting here, our minds may go take a walk outside and come back. You know, we could think of the past or future. So let us go to the basics. How do we bring the mind in the present moment? And that happens through breath. You see, any emotion like anger, it has an impact on your breath. When you're angry, you're breathing fast. Oh, definitely. Right? And if you're afraid, the breath pattern changes. Yeah. Yeah. If you're happy, breathing pattern changes. Yeah. So there is a direct link between breathing and the frame of mind. So if we can attend to the breath, we can capture our mind. See, capturing, it's very tricky. You know, if you say, oh, I want to sleep now. Will you get a sleep? You no. cannot directly attend to the mind. Mind needs to be effortless. Stimulant. At the level of mind, you have to be effortless. And breathing is the tool we use to capture the mind and bring it in this present moment. And that leads to meditation. Okay, so because we've, we're running out of time, because we needed mm -hmm. to hear from um, Guru Dev in India. I know he talks very calmly, so we couldn't have rushed him. All right, so um, how would you say if I now want to practice the act of breathing right so mm -hmm. that I can start... Um, um, what's it called, controlling my environment and start to distress. How do I breathe? You know, what's the technique like? What is, is this something I can learn in two minutes? You know, 
Uh, well, <laughs> it takes time to learn all these things and we do some programs. We have a, a program called the Happiness Course uh, okay. where we teach all these uh, techniques. Mm -hmm. But for the sake of this discussion, maybe I can just quickly demonstrate okay. one, do. one do. technique okay. um, and the viewers can perhaps uh, follow. Oh, yeah. So I'll demonstrate first and then all of us can follow. Uh, the only gap is uh, one should understand if you have high blood pressure right now, so then don't practice this. That's a, uh, you know, refrain from doing this technique Why? which I'm about to do because it may raise the blood pressure a little bit wow. uh, while oh. we are doing it. So this, uh, this is a technique called bellows breath and it's one of the many, many techniques available and it gives instant energy and focus in the mind. Okay. So let's, uh, let me just demonstrate okay, and then do. Yeah. Uh, once I'm done, then I'll lead you through a quick, uh, you know, round of uh, breathing. Awesome. Okay. And then we'll keep, so one uh, thing we have to do is keep our, uh, keep our back straight okay. and shoulders relaxed. Mm -hmm. And when we are doing this, we keep our eyes closed. Why do we keep our eyes closed? Because, uh, you know, we are trying to relax. Now, you can't sleep with your eyes open, right? Yes. So meditation and breathing should be done with your eyes closed so that you can gain that energy and feel that energy within, mm. right? So let me, because we are running short of time, yeah. let me show you and then we will do it together. Okay. Yeah? So this is the posture. Your back is straight, shoulders relaxed. Make a loose fist by your shoulders. I think we should just go ahead and practice it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just watch me first. And Ooh, then yeah, we are watching, we are looking at All you. Right. <laughs> we don't have time. So, here we just uh, breathe out completely and just watch as I breathe in and out. Okay. And we So, and slowly open your eyes. Mm. So, this was just a demonstration. Now, I can lead you through a nice uh, round of longer session. Is longer session right now, about two, three, five minutes. Okay. Uh, do we have that? Much no, time? we don't have that time. So, we'll do that yeah. after the show. Quickly. Yeah. How many people, because I understand that um, Nigeria, the art of living reaches out to millions of people free of charge during this period. So how many people have been able to come out with testimonies that this meditation sessions, the live sessions that the Guru Dev has been conducting has helped them to truly come out of the, the fear and the anxiety and the during this COVID-19? Have you guys had see, many stories? See, Art of Living has been in existence for 39 years now, wow. since 1981. Oh. And over these years, we are now present in 156 countries across the world, touching lives of 450 million people. Wow. Now, during this COVID, what out of what Gurudev suggested was, it's time to give, all free. So he has now been leading meditations twice a day live for the entire world. And we have seen about 1.5 to 2 million people joining any live meditation of Gurudev. Oh, wow. And there have been too many live you know, uh, responses from people saying this has really helped. Because meditation definitely heals at your body level also. You know, there is a definite direct impact on the body apart from the mind. Obviously, the mind is focused and healthy, but body also becomes healthy. So people are gaining a lot all over the world. And I think this is a time where we have some time at home. We are under lockdown. So we can focus on ourselves, give this time to ourselves. And I would say, you know, most of the creation, innovation happens when the mind is calm. Absolutely. So during this COVID, let us upskill ourselves. Let us take some time to focus on ourselves and when the mind is calm, you will see some innovation will come out. Life will change and for the better, I'm sure. Wow, thank you so much. Unfortunately, we really ran out of time. We couldn't even take all the questions that are coming in. Because I was still WhatsApp. loaded I mean, with questions. There are many questions. We think we'll, we'll probably beg you that one. We'll bring you back some other time again for the show. But thank you so much. I really love the way Gurudev was talking very calmly. You here also talking very calmly. I said, okay, maybe yeah, God will help me to become calm. Part of the effect of your medical well, Hopefully meditation. I should start becoming calm when I start the, my breathing exercise and my meditation. All right, yeah. so thank you so much again for joining thank us. Thank you, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you can watch a repeat broadcast on Mondays, Saturdays and Sundays at 3 p.m. It's been a very insightful conversation. I learned a lot. Please keep all the conversations going on all our social media platforms as we continue to hear what you're saying. Now, in case you missed today's quote, worry is, I mean, worry in the dark can make it even, even darker. darker. That's from Cameron, right? Do you agree with that? Yeah. Absolutely. So enjoy the rest of your but evening. But just a spark of light in the darkness can illuminate everything. Absolutely. That's so true. Thank you so, so much. So thank you very much for coming. <laughs> thank you. All right. Bye.
Thank you.